All right, hi guys, this is Brendan, and we are going to try and show you how to make a badge within the uh, WordPress site. So when you log into WordPress, this is your um, admin dashboard or whatever. There's a couple of things we need here. In the media, you can see there's the badge designer. Uh, so when you click on that, you go to badge designer. And it looks like this. You can also design badges outside of the WordPress site. Uh, OpenBadges.me. It's exactly the same. You just can't publish right away. You have to download it and then up. So um, making a badge is easy. You choose a shape and you have several different categories to choose, or you could upload your own background shape. Uh, you can choose an inner shape if you'd like. You can choose the color again. You can make it transparent, more or less transparent. You can toss an icon on top. Again, you have several sizes, several choices, and uploading op opportunities or whatever. You can change the color again, make it more transparent again. Move it around, move it up or down on the badge or move it left and right on the badge. <clears throat> you can add a banner if you'd like. You can make the banner, move the banner up or down, and you can change colors on the banner. And finally, you can add text. This first line is the text, um, is this original text. There's the colors you can see, color change. You can move that left or right, up or down. You can change the font and um, bold, italics, etc., etc. Uh, this is the text that goes in the banner or just the second line of text. You can change the color again uh, and all the other stuff. Then you publish the badge. Boom. Once you've published the badge, it's in there. And that's just an, an icon. So now you have to create a badge. So you go add new. And here's a new badge. So you type in the name up here. What is this badge name? You type the criteria for the badge down here. You know, whether it's taking tests or passing a test with an 80 or having a 10 Twitter followers or making 25 Twitter posts, whatever you want to put a badge for, make a badge for, there you go. Um, you have to... With badges, it's important that you make a version of your badge, and for some reason, it wants a dot in there, so 1.01 1 .01 or whatever you want uh, seems to work best. Then you choose the image, so you set the image, and I've created a badge here so I can choose one, or you can upload a file if you made it offline or somebody gave it to you, and then put it in there. And that's it. And then you click publish and it's all set. So you've designed your badge. You've created a badge. Now you have to give the badge to somebody who's earned it. So go to awards and add new. <clears throat> Here's all of my awards that I've done. I've been playing with this for a while. And once you award a badge, Um, maybe I'll just add a new one, show you what it's like. <clears throat> so add a new badge. Or add a new award, because we've already added the badge. Um, so I'm going to put the evidence. I don't know why it doesn't seem to show up anywhere, but I'd like to put some in here if I could. A link or anything, uh, a picture, whatever works. Um, so that's over here. I'm going to choose the badge that I want to award. It doesn't really matter which, well, it matters which one, obviously. I have to put the person's email address who I'm awarding it to. And then I click Publish. After I click Publish, it sends them an email. Congratulations, you've been awarded the test badge. They click on the link, and it takes them to 
the badge page where they can accept or decline. Once they click accept, the little light box comes up for the Mozilla backpack. And if they don't have a Mozilla backpack, they can sign in. It takes about 10 seconds. Um, hooray, I've already accepted this one, so it's going to give me a little error, I think. <clears throat> but once you go through here, it'll say, do you want to accept it or not? Yes or no. And I say yes. And I go to my backpack. See, here's my backpack. So you can see my awards in the backpack. And I can click on the award, and it has the criteria page and the evidence page. So if I click on the criteria page, the evidence page doesn't show anything except this page again. So it's kind of a, but the evidence page is nice in that it's got the badge, it's got the name of the badge. And it's got the criteria that we decided on when we created the badge, created the award. So uh, hopefully people will know what they did to earn that badge when they shared. Now the backpack is kind of nice in that these badges are here, but they're not public. I know I have them, but I'm not going to show off. And that's a whole different story, but you can put them in collections and publish them, put them on your web page. You can only put certain ones in, in certain collections, whatever you want. So you don't have to show every badge you have. Uh, you can only show, you can show the ones you want to, when you want to show them, where you want to show them. But that's, uh, that's a whole Mozilla badges. Uh, the things that were important are we've created our, created our own badge. We've told people what the, what the person had to do to earn that badge. And we've said that we are the people who, uh, who awarded that badge. So uh, if they trust us, that we assess these people nicely, the badge might mean something. If not, it doesn't mean anything. But uh, that's badges in a nutshell for the WordPress platform. Thanks for listening.